Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn what is Feholing solution, right? Feholing solution is a blue solution, right? And it is formed by mixing equal volumes of copper sulfate and alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartarate solution right so this is the feholing solution right copper sulfate sodium hydroxide and sodium potassium tar tartarate right I, I can ask you what is feholing solution feholing solution is a blue solution formed by mixing equal volumes of copper sulfate solution and alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartrate solution. I hope it is clear to you what is failing solution. Right? Well, how to now we'll understand how to prepare failing solution, right? Or failing solution preparation you know that when copper sulfate right copper when you add copper sulfate to to alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartrate then at first copper sulfate will react to its sodium hydroxide eh? right and then we'll get this compound right this positive you know that this this sodium positive here and here copper is positive copper is two, 2 plus and sodium is 1 plus this copper will go with this hydroxide ion you know that hydroxide ion is negative so we'll get this product copper hydroxide right and this positive will go to sulfate that is sulfate is 2 minus right so we'll get sodium sulfate right and then this copper hydroxide will react with sodium potassium tartrate right and what will happen you know that this sodium this sodium will go with the negative hydroxide ion so we'll get sodium hydroxide and then copper will be will add here and we'll get this complex ion and you know that potassium is one plus but here copper is two plus right two plus copper is here two plus so potassium one plus potassium 1 plus and copper is 2 plus so we have to take here 2 right uh, for overall search I will show it uh, I will show you it clearly you know that this is tartaric acid right this is tartaric acid okay 4 carbon here 1 2 3 4 right every carbon will have hydroxyl ion in the middle and this will have carboxylic group right so this is tartaric acid right and if you deduct one hydrogen from here right so we'll get minus and if you deduct this hydrogen uh, well I will do like this well so you, you are getting one minus right you are getting one minus so okay let me draw first well 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 so we have to add here minus but what is the problem i don't know it is not working
here uh, now it is working right so we are getting here 1 minus 1 minus and to neutralize this minus we have to add plus right 1 plus here 1 plus here here copper is 2 plus right so this 2 minus is this 2 minus will be neutralized by the 2 plus or copper so so this this complex ion has 2 minus right and because this 2 minus is coming from the another molecule uh, of uh, di tartaro di tartaro di tartarato ion right here from 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 another molecule of di tartarate ion right so potassium di tartarato cuprate this is right and you have to remember that most of the copper hydroxide uh, react with this uh, di tartaro uh, potas sodium potassium di tartaro uh, di tartaro compound but in 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 the in the solution of this uh, failing solution uh, we have some uh, copper 2 plus ion that will come from copper hydroxide which will dissolve in this uh, solution and this copper 2 plus ion will act as an oxidizing agent that is it has tendency to take electron from other pieces so let me give you a example right well reaction of failing solution with aldehyde well you know that uh, ethanol is a ether this is ethanol ethanol what is the structure of ethanol this is the structure of ethanol when ethanol is mixed right with failing solution uh, at 60 degree celsius temperature we'll get q plus oxide here copper the oxidation state of copper is one plus right so from two plus we are getting one plus that is one electron is being is gained by copper so this is a oxidation process so let me show you this is a uh, copper hydroxide this is the example this is ethanol and if you add uh, failing solution you know that in failing solution uh, there are some copper hydroxide uh, and from copper hydroxide we get copper 2 plus uh, ion copper 2 plus ion which act as oxidizing agent right so this copper 2 plus uh, will take one electron and will get copper oxide uh, as a precipitate and it will be reduced copper will be reduced as it is taking electron on the other hand ethanol ethanol will be oxidized to uh, to sodium ethanoate right and ketones doesn't give this failing solution test so by this uh, following failing solution test we can differentiate between aldehyde and ketone so thank you for viewing this video be well